Green is ready to come out and down they come. We are on the way for the Bud Light 75 and Mike Bond down on the bottom part of the speedway grabbing up that early lead. Bondy leads him going down the back straightaway. Look at who's coming up into the number two spot. Dalton Doyle likes that inside lane. Right now, Sekolik is kind of hung up there on the outside. He dropped back from the second spot back to the number three spot. So they're all turning up the R's as they race down between turns number three and four. High siding off the number four corner and down the front straightaway. It's Bondy still up there on the top side. He just won an 18.875 on that last lap. Now look at Dave Cliff in car number 50. Moving down, coming off the corner. And we've got yellow out of the speedway. It's the 15 car, the car in trouble. Kyle Ruder. Yeah, that was a simple spin, Joe. It looked like I, when he was just getting lapped there. Run off that corner. Can't do it. Dalton Doyle remaining third. And look at he runs right with the leader going down. Dave Cliff running right with Mike Bond going down in between turns number three and four. Hoosier tires holding up really good right now as they race off in turn number two. Here is Dave Cliff reeling the leader in. And look out, we got troubles over there and they get by some of the slower markets. And Brownie takes advantage of that. And Brownie is now up to the number three spot. Russ Brown waiting for that move, and Dalton Doyle drops back to the number four position. But if we got troubles again, going down in the turn number one. I believe that Scott Schaefer, kind of a 76 up yeah. there in turn no number harm, one. No there. He turns it around. Oh, he's got a little bit of smoke coming out the back. Yeah. Yes, he does. He Looks may like have he might some... have a tire rub. Onto the inside now. Here comes Dave Cliff. The leader is sputtering, going down into turn number one. Watch him off at turn number two. Cliff now trying to run him down, going down the tall end of the back straightaway. Down in between the corners. Dave Cliff now trying to get a run up onto the outside. Coming down the front straightaway. You can hear that engine missing, going down into turn number one. Mike Bond is not able to pull away as he did earlier. And Brownie is right there in the number three spot. Bond stays on the outside part of the speedway. Here comes Dave Cliff. Scorers stand by. Down they come. The checkered flag is out. The win goes to Mike Bond. He leaves it. And Mike Bond doing some donuts out there in the front straightaway. Man, he says, this is one happy feeling, one happy moment, and he's bringing the number 74 into victory lane. And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, Michael Bond, the winningest super small block super modified driver at Oswego Speedway. Yeah, I think so. I don't know about cruising. Car was getting really, really tight there at the end. I'm causing flags really help. I'm more out. Getting old for this stuff. I gotta thank my Denise and my brother for giving me a great car. Everything I, I've ever asked for to give me. I gotta thank one guy I always forget to thank. It's my engine builder, Doug Holmes. He builds one hell of a motor. This is the third season on the short block, and it's still going. Thanks, Doug. All them cautions really were hurting our car. It seemed like four or five laps after after restart, he, you know, he'd pull away five or six cars, and a couple times it got right back to his bumper. Uh, I think we had a wheel bearing or something going bad right from the get-go, maybe lap 10, 15, because the front of the car was chattering so bad going in the corners, I, I just couldn't be as aggressive as I would have liked, but uh, we made him work for it this year compared to last year. Last year was on cruise control, and uh, I know he knew I was there this year, and uh, I wish we could have caught that lap traffic and maybe a lap sooner, and who knows, between me, Russ, and Mike, we could add one hell of a finish. Come for the classic, it's so tight you couldn't turn it. It's been a great drag car, but all in all, it's been a great year. Uh, we finished third to the, one of the two good guys, so all in all, uh, good job. I just wish they'd invert like 14 or 16 to make a race out for the fans, because not for nothing, that wasn't much of a race.